Euphoria was a title that was decided on by many artists and friends, and it's really what it's all about. I live in Harlem. In the early 1960s, this was a vastly different neighborhood, and I'm sure, from everything I've read, very tragic. My community garden in Harlem is just a beautiful event of the coming together of so many people from so varied backgrounds who run the tightest ship I've seen in a community garden. Many years ago, the garden was begun by Reverend Williamson. There were lines around the block for Reverend Williamson's soup kitchen and adult literacy programs, and she began a head start, and she did beautiful things in this community. She secured this property for the community. The community owns it. It has 50 members. Everyone works so hard at it. I decided about a year and a half ago that I was going to do work to commemorate Reverend Williamson. Dorothy Omega worked with Reverend Williamson when Williamson was old and Reverend Omega was very young. She gave me hours of interview about its history. When I was interviewing Reverend Omega and we were trying to think of something that could tie what happened here in this community together, she suggested to use for the wolves and the lambs as a symbol of peace. I worked on a series that was shown in Atlanta where I invented some lambs. The wolves were easy to find in my neighborhood. They are the dogs that are around me all the time. I eventually met Rahim Hart, who owns three beautiful animals and was more than willing and generous in his participation in this project. I've used his pit bulls for a lot of these images. I met him on the street. I was walking down 125th Street and I saw this young man with these amazing animals and I just walked right up to him and said, I'm commemorating the person who began our local community garden. Would you be willing to let me use these animals in these images for the wolves? And he was just so patient. We set up great big photo shoots in my studio and he brought over the dogs who are very strong and very energetic. We rigged up a way to tie them, which was hard because they're so strong. They can't even be tied to a banister or something. We actually tied them to an iron support in the wall. I wanted the image of the Rev to be in Mac's chest, just right in the center of his chest, sort of the great protector. I teach at a girls' school, a beautiful school. I went to India with my school. was blessed so many times in a way that really impressed me. It impressed me most when I got home and realized how many times every day in Harlem I was blessed. You're walking down the street and people say, God bless you, you have a blessed day. I never really got that as well as I did after going to India and getting blessed by an elephant. And I wanted the elephant to shout it out. Q47 in the middle of the night. Thinking about you. No, 
wasn't right. And I said, hey, 